Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to. You see join button below the video or the link in the description box as well. I've been posting a lot of channel messages lately. There was um, a longer one today, so definitely join if you're interested. I still have to post part two of it as well. Um, so yeah, anyways. Uh, and then yeah, if you guys ever want to donate to the channel, I do have an Amazon wishlist in the description box and I also have a PayPal link as well and it's greatly appreciated. Um, thank you to anyone who ever does decide to donate. Anyways, okay, getting into this reading guys with the first card here, we do have birth. Right away with this card, I was getting something about memories and childhood memories, um, something about someone's family history even, and I even see someone like looking through an old photo album with someone's parents like of what you or what someone looked like as a child that's what I'm getting right now is looking at old photos and I got this message before I really am getting that someone could be talking to someone's family about you they could be talking to their family about you but I honestly see like someone could even be talking to your family about you I don't know I'm just seeing someone showing old pictures of you They're like oh this is what they look like when they were a kid like I don't know that's the vibe that I'm getting here also getting a whole lot of like childlike joy, happiness with this card, like everyone in it is like looking like they're having fun, they're smiling. Um, I also see like she's holding this basket, what looks like flowers, so there could be something going on with flowers. Specifically, I'm getting something about peonies, uh, someone could have those on their counter or something, or that's what someone gives to someone. Um, but I also see something about a fruit basket as well, like bringing someone a fruit basket I don't know what's with that and being fruitful as well. Um, so this could be, again, like I, for some of you guys, I have to be honest, like I'm seeing someone potentially visit someone else's family and I'm getting, it might have to do with the talk of a future proposal, marriage. And I know that sounds crazy for some of you, but that's exactly what I'm getting with this card and I can't make it up. That's what I'm seeing here. For others of you, um, this could just be um, reminiscing on childhood memories but I also get it as a masculine here is seeing a vision of what he wants in his future this could be you as well but I'm seeing someone has you know it's kind of like a dreamlike state of imagining you know as we always say like the picket fence the dog the kids and the kids are running up to the mother in the yard she's smiling it's like a beautiful night it's the sun is setting it's something like that like this is someone's vision with you for the future and for some of you this person's already taking some kind of action on this vision is what I'm getting and with birth also it talks about a new beginning a new start as well something ending something starting <laughs> so um this is very exciting it's the beginning of a new cycle also we see the two of them are holding hands as well there could be something you could have a brother or a sibling or this person does um but I also see just like the fact that they're holding hands running through the grass like I keep seeing this vision of someone holding someone's hand running down the beach even like later on in life like this could just be a thing i keep getting that vision of someone wanting to hold your hand um so that could be significant also you can see that there's um sorry i'm a little shaky here you can see that there's sculptures in the background here too something about rock formation sculpture i keep getting someone here is working on something by carving or by like they do like pottery or something or they're doing something with like chipping away at something i'm hearing like molding something or even i was hearing carving mahogany wood and then it's so hard to see i can't even i can't even see in this card it says it in the description but in the card description for this specific card it says something about celtic writing in like a carving of the trees or something so that could also be a message for someone again something about carving i keep getting like messages carved into something or something engraved even as well could be significant here okay and then also i'm getting something about adventure is what i'm hearing i'm also hearing <clears throat> something about being grounded as well like their bare feet here i keep hearing remembering will you talk to my family for me is also what i heard um i heard receiving invitations potentially to a wedding or engagement party some sort of party as well as what I've been getting. We'll talk about that more, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm recommending you look at old photographs to get an idea of what I look like growing up. Like I'm hearing something like that. I'm also hearing Bethany Smalls again, so random. I don't know why that keeps coming through. Elopement photographer, so that could be a message for someone here. 
realizing I was never too good for you. I don't know. I heard that weird. I also heard realizing I turned down the person I was supposed to marry. I'm hearing something about proposal. Um, I also am hearing barefoot, barefoot Contessa, which is, um, she's a chef. Like that's her cookbook, I think. And if you look her up, like the first thing that pops up, well, first off, someone here could be a chef. Someone's mother also could be a chef or like has good cooking. Um, someone could come from a family where, I don't know, someone could be Italian here because the first thing that pops up is spaghetti and meatballs again, guys. And I keep channeling that. So think about an Italian restaurant or your family has an Italian background. Or I also just get that someone's family, like that's just their specialty. Maybe they make really good spaghetti and meatballs or something. Um, I'm also getting stuff about uh, corn, something about peaches. Um, summer barbecue is what it makes me think of, like peach cobbler, peach pie maybe, I don't know. And then I'm also seeing someone, this is so weird because this has come out numerous times, but I'm seeing someone with like a large, almost like chef knife or something, but they're chopping vegetables. And I had a dream about this last night. Not only did it come out with this card, but I had a dream or like a vision of it last night. Someone was chopping vegetables for a taco salad, so specific in my dream, but it was, and the person chopping the vegetables was my mom in my dream. So this definitely, this card is referring to something with someone's mother or motherhood. I also see once again that someone does want to have kids with you. I, yeah, like again, if you can have kids, guys, like I'm just, that is a message for someone here. Someone really wants to have children, but I also just see that someone could be talking to someone's mother is what I'm getting, or like talking to someone's family about the future with you potentially, or talking to their family about the future with you. I don't know, but I see someone talking to family. This card is all about family and children and new beginnings. So that's what I get with that. And again, I just see someone chopping vegetables like in a kitchen. I was also my dream like slicing bread up. I was helping them to get stuff ready for this dinner. And I remember we're washing dishes too. And then there was like someone else there. Like I couldn't quite pick up on who this person was, but like they were also helping and they wanted to do all the work. And my parents were like, really loving this other person they were like oh this person's so helpful and I felt like kind of useless not gonna lie in my dream <laughs> so maybe that's a message for someone someone's parents could really like this other person I don't know someone's family that's what I'm getting with that very odd message in my dream also I was on a bus in my dream yet again another bus I don't know what's with the bus someone rides the bus places I was getting it more in my dream as like one of those Greyhound buses even, or like a bus that goes far distances. Could be something like that as well, but for some it could be like a school bus too, since we have kids here. All right, and then also I'm getting, yeah, sorry, another weird message from my dream was something to do with gross bathroom stalls. So if that means anything to anyone, I'll just point that out too. I also had this really awkward energy in my dream. Like, you know, when you like first meet someone or something, like meet, meeting someone's family, like that was the energy of my dream. But then at the same time, like remember my dream, like it was still like people were nice and welcoming. It was just like a weird energy. I'm also getting stuff about blueberries, something about bruschetta, chocolate birthday cake, or some sort of birthday once again, or a party coming up. Um, I'm also hearing something about money. So someone is taken aback. I just keep hearing that. Someone's family members or someone themselves is taken aback by something someone says. Um, I heard becoming more fruitful. Something going on with finances. Luca. I'm hearing someone talking about money or finances, potentially maybe with your family, or this is like a discussion for the future about like, how you guys would even like live together or something like there could be discussions of that in the near future i'm also hearing different bull daring i also heard son of god i'm not really sure what that's about i also heard something about an alimony check heard <laughs> one second i'm hearing something about france or italy as well um but yeah i just see someone dreaming of like a happy family life in the future i just get that vibe from this card um, I'm also getting stuff about green, like outdoors again, nature, a farm, like someone could really like the outdoors or that's like a vibe for someone, like they want to live in somewhere where like maybe you guys have a big backyard or something or a lot of space, something like that. Um, I also get like obviously someone could want a pet as well or have pets already. Um, and then I'm also hearing that someone didn't have these feelings until they met you as well. So you could have been the one that started these feelings within someone when they never really thought this is what they wanted with their life or maybe this happened for you you know and then again i'm hearing mother i'm hearing mama sita <laughs> i'm also hearing long time no see something about cold hands a silk dress i'm hearing value village um i also keep hearing paying homage to our ancestors during the ceremony 
I don't know, guys. Like, I feel like if someone has different traditions, like someone's talking about this, maybe the differences between you guys. Um, I definitely see that. I did want to do more of a reading on that, but there's definitely something going on with like diversity here or like different cultures, different backgrounds coming together as one. Um, that's definitely a message. I'm also hearing something about a pill case married before sundown. I also keep hearing Maya Angelou and she was an American memoirist, poet, civil rights activist. She published it says seven autobiographies, three books of essays, several books of poetry. So again, you know, I've been telling you guys that someone could be interested in poetry or art or writing. Um, that could be something that you guys do or end up doing together as well. And we'll get more into that. Obviously, we have the Muse card coming up right next to this. Um, so yeah, there's something about inspiration here. And then also I'm hearing something about New Jersey. I'm hearing took your photos, good at repairs. Um, someone could be like a good handyman or something around the house or something along those lines. I'm also hearing formalities, planning a party that may take place um, also at the top of a uh, apartment building or high rise building, something about a penthouse or garden. Like if you guys look right here, there's something about planning an event is what I'm getting at the top of some kind of building. It's coming through over here as well something about a party at the top of a building and again the blue dress look at this it is coming through all the time i can't even believe it with this deck like there's just everyone's in blue dresses i feel so and there's something going on with that i keep seeing a party with like lights like music dancing again could be penthouse top of the building or someone lives in a high-rise like apartment building or also i'm seeing it for some of you it could be in nature i'm seeing something about like the top of a mountain a cliff i don't know why that's so significant i just keep getting that could be windy up where you guys are i keep seeing that as well but yeah there's gonna be something going on with music is what i keep getting um sound all right we'll, we'll get more into that but yeah i'm also getting um i'm hearing reigniting passion something about a famous singer um I'm also hearing John, New Orleans, special place overlooking the city. Okay, and then I was channeling this song. It was actually a different song, but when I looked it up, another song popped up. And I always try and read like the first one that pops up too. And I felt like this really correlated. I actually don't remember the name of the song. You guys will probably know because I have all the lyrics here. But anyways, in the song, it says something about looking at pictures. It says something about like you lit a fuse. You think it's fictional, mystical, maybe spiritual hero who appears on you. To clear your view when you're too crazy so i still get the idea that someone thinks this dream of theirs that they want with you like they they still think that maybe it's not real or like what they're feeling with you is not real someone keeps thinking that this is all just in their head like nothing's actually going to come of this sometimes they think like am i crazy for doing this or taking this risk like we talked about in the last reading someone thinks that they made it up in their head and they're like it, it's not going to work out you know i'm doing all this for nothing Kind of like that, they go back on that sometimes because they it just feels so unreal what's happening here. And this could also be what you feel when something happens in your life. I feel like you're going to be shocked because you felt like this was just something that you only hear about movies or something like that, you know? Like, it's just so unreal is what I'm hearing. And I really do see, guys, like someone secretly planning some kind of party or event is what I keep getting here. Like, see, she's, she's like behind the curtains here. I keep hearing stuff about curtains as well. Like, this is hidden hidden from sight, something about water as well. I was telling guys, I said this in members actually, but I did talk about like potentially a cruise for some of you. I keep getting stuff about that, um, like Regent Cruise Line even for some. But anyways, that's it could be unrelated. She's also wearing a necklace here too, which again, we talked about like a blue necklace, sapphire necklace, that could be significant somehow. So I just see like someone is planning with like potentially someone's family members or their family members I don't know I see someone getting help on planning a party or something but again this card also talks about children too like because the six of cups is all about children and there's even children on the cards I just know guys someone here like they want kids with you I cannot stop repeating the message like this is for someone they want children with you they <laughs> they've been thinking about that it's been on their mind a lot someone also feels like maybe time is running out to have kids as well someone thinks about that yeah, so that's just a message for others of you. This is just talking about someone from your past returning to your life as well and starting new. That's what this is about. So if it's not about children, that could be what it's about. And also, once again, planning some sort of party or event. I see this is to do with, again, wish fulfillment. There'll be something going on with like planning 
um, food and drinks for this event, something about, you know, drinking alcohol. If you drink alcohol, they could be planning that for this. I keep getting stuff about wine or champagne or something with like a cork in the bottle. But yeah, this is definitely going to be some kind of wish fulfillment here. And then obviously we have the flowers coming through again. And over here, again, we have on top of like a high building is what I keep getting. Like something's going to be up high. I see someone's like planning things though like they're going back and forth and like what they want to do really like does this sound good does this should i pick this option or this like that's what i'm getting with this message here it's very interesting so yeah someone's working something out i feel with other people around about whatever this event is or whatever this party is so for some it's a birthday party as well by the way um the rest of the lyrics for that song i was hearing as well it says lifeless to those the definition for what life is priceless to you because I put you on the hype shift. Did you like it? Gut smoking, righteous with one tote. By the way, someone could smoke here or do drugs. I just kind of popping out. Like doesn't have to be all the time. It could just be recreationally as well. Um, but right after that, it says you're psychic among nose possess. <laughs> you're psychic among nose possess you with one go. I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad. I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. And in that song, it repeats over and over. The future is coming on. I'm telling you guys, this is talking about something that also someone may have had a vision of already in a dream or someone like prophetize, like prophet, is that how you say it? Prophetize? I don't know. Someone already knew like this was going to happen or you had an idea this was going to happen, whether you do tarot readings or something like that, which we'll get into as well. But that's what I'm seeing. Um, and then in that song, it also says for me as a guy, y'all can see me now can't because you don't see with your eye, which is once again, I feel like we're talking about like third eye stuff you can't see, stuff that you don't. Like, you know, like, you know, it's coming, but you can't see it. Um, it says you perceive with your mind. That's the inner FM. So I am a stick around with Russ and be a mentor. Bust a few rhymes. So <laughs> we're just going to blank that word out. M remember where the thought is. I brought all this so you can survive when law is lawless right here. Feeling sensations that you thought were dead. No squealing. And remember that it's all in your head. My future. It's coming on. It's coming on. It's coming on. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you guys, this is again, like something that someone had a vision of or had a dream of or just assumed maybe could happen, but they weren't sure. And then it's going to happen is what I'm seeing, guys. Like, this is very exciting here. All right. And I'm hearing new phase beginning. I'm also hearing deep history or past lives as well. We're going to get into that in a second. Yeah, I'm also getting there's something about some labor could, in, could be involved in whatever this is, um, but it's going to be worth it like whatever this is is going to pay off so again i see someone taking some kind of risk or putting a lot of effort into something and they don't know if it's going to pay off i see it paying off it's going to be fruitful like i keep hearing i'm also hearing discussing marriage family in the home giving birth to a creative project even um celebration as well is going on with this card and i'm also hearing preparing for what's to come yeah i, I even see that someone could be preparing a space too for what's to come in the future could even be children um i'm also hearing this song dancing in the rain it's like um what a glorious feeling i'm happy again i'm hearing i'm singing just singing in the rain i really keep getting guys that when you guys meet up there's something going on with song and dance and also it could be raining that day as well. I just see that like over and over and over. Something about rain, something about kissing in the rain. I don't know, but that's what I get all the time. So I wanted to point that out. And then moving on to this card here, the muse. So someone sees you straight up. This is very obvious, but someone sees you as their muse. Someone sees you as the inspiration for all the things they write, I'm hearing, or all the stuff that they make. Um, you know, like someone could be sculpting things or they could be painting things. I'm really getting like, since we had Maya Angelou, something about poetry or writing um, is inspired by you or something that you've done. I don't know, you inspire this person. And I get that also it's like on a deep subconscious level though. It's not just like consciously, like they didn't know that you were gonna cause so much inspiration in their life or lead them into this path of things. But there's something about you that's like inspiration or even their dreams about this life with you is what's their inspiration like these visions or something like I see them putting that into art or putting that into music because we do have someone playing something here it's kind of like an instrument um I really strongly get that and then all right with this card as well I'm hearing yeah you ignited a passion within someone that is what I'm hearing also I'm getting to that someone here is jumping through hoops to get to you 
or jumping through hoops now to follow their passion. Like they're taking that leap of faith, like we talked about. So many is like going through the fire, you know, getting through it. But also it's like you, you ignited some spark in someone, like you ignited something that I think was lost for a long time in this person. And they haven't felt that in a long time, if ever. And I see that caused something to change in this person, guys. I see them rushing after now what it is that they actually want in their life. Like they're actually taking action on it. Um, for some of you, by the way, someone is recently gotten a haircut or went to a barber. This could be masculine, but I see like, you see, it looks like, like that barber thing, the front of the shop. Also, I just get some interesting message too. This is the Knight of Wands cards, guys. So I do have to be honest. You, you're not only this person's views, you're also someone they are very physically, sexually attracted to. They think you're very beautiful, very pretty, very majestic, I'm hearing, mysterious as well. Um, but not only that, they also, <laughs> this card, I mean, at first I was getting something very, like, again, it's like this childlike energy with you that they feel, it just, like, is exciting and fun, but then, yeah, I'm getting something about, like, blowing bubbles, you know, like a little kid, but then, all of it, obviously, I was hearing blowing bubbles, and then also something about lollipop, look at the way that this card looks, so, I mean, I get some sexual messages as well, some innuendos and things, but, um, so this person has multiple feelings towards you, but, I see that you just took this person out of a way of life that were living they were living in and you really changed some sort of perspective for them. So I see this person was kind of like like now I see them leading people. I see them as like in a leader role or going to lead other people. I see them taking the lead or the reins in their life is what I'm hearing. Someone is finally taking control of their life because before I feel like they were the person like the people on the ground here kind of like the puppets being controlled by even someone else or other family members someone was controlling this person's life when you came in or had a big influence on their life i feel like their family or someone around them an ex someone like this had um yeah a lot of control in them they were very i don't know they couldn't really do certain things they want to do they felt very judged i feel they felt like they had to fit inside the certain mold all the time but then i feel like you brought this sort of like creative fun energy that they've never really experienced before and they were like hmm I kind of like that like <laughs> what if I did something like that you know what if I was a little more creative because I get again this person is very grounded they're very like I always say this but like very earth energy very just like meticulous and I don't know if they were ever really outside of the box like they feel like they work really hard for things but at the same time do you see how even in this card like they're inside of kind of like this box and I feel like they never really expanded beyond that. They never saw what was beyond just like what they could see in front of them. And I feel like, again, you changed something for this person. By the way, if someone recently got a haircut, they could have got braids put in, by the way. <laughs> just want to point that out. But yeah, I just see them. They were stuck on this leash, this short leash that someone had them on for so long. And they were listening to the opinions of others forever. And I feel like finally, they've broken out of that. Like right now, guys, someone has break it, broken out of this mold because of you, because of something you said or did, or just who you are as a person has inspired this person to get out of this. And with the Queen of Cups energy here too, like this is a really great energy because it's talking about like someone who's got a lot of depth of them. Again, someone who's very mysterious. We keep getting this like underwater, kind of like mermaid-like energy. So I see you as very mystical to this person, very, again, inspiring. Um, something you said or did but again like I see this person just like releasing emotion um, in the way of their work and things like that because of you like they're like they could have songs about you that they wrote or poems about you that they wrote and I see with the shell here too obviously this could be talking about the fact that you open this person up like they had a very tough exterior they didn't like to let people in they always had guard their guard up but i feel like with you they're starting to learn that maybe they can let their guard down i'm also hearing here that you took someone off their high horse so if someone felt like they always were in control of you know all the people in their life maybe again with the knight of wands energy here they could have dated around guys or like had felt like they always had a bunch of options and they could do what they wanted but i'm hearing someone here outplayed the player <laughs> as in like they realize that with you they couldn't act the same way that they were with everybody else and I see that the player someone who was once the player now became maybe a little clingy with you because we have the seahorse here she's sitting with the seahorse and seahorses are known to like you know cling on to things and not let go right like they can hold on and like really tough currents and things like that and I see that's what it's like it's like you were the one person that this person couldn't really let go of like they tried to like all the others right but it just didn't work this time because there was something about you that they found different than everybody else. 
that's what I'm seeing there. And then with this card too, I'm also hearing checkmate. Like again, it's like you almost like outplayed someone at their own game is what I'm getting, which I mean, obviously it's never meant to be a game, but I feel like you didn't really have to try to do this. It just kind of worked out that way for you. And so now someone here has a whole lot of passion and emotions that are all directed towards you right now. And they gotta just accept that you really are someone that changed something in their life for them and set them on a new path as well. And so again, now this person is jumping through to try to, for many of you I'm hearing, get back to you. And also with this person and this card, they're wearing kind of like a suit and hat. Again, I keep getting someone like wearing their best clothes, like, or they're gonna get a tailored suit. I keep hearing stuff about yeah, like getting a suit done up and then also someone getting their hair done. Like as in, I'm hearing it's like a masculine though, but it could be a feminine as well. I also get with this card, something about horseback riding as well. Someone could like horses or that could be significant. I keep getting stuff about like a derby or something too. I don't know. Maybe someone bets on horses sometimes. I have no idea. But again, I'm hearing childlike joy. I'm hearing inspired someone to lead as well, to be the leader of their own life. Like again, stop being controlled by everybody else and to step outside of kind of like this matrix energy. I'm not going to lie. That's what I get with that. Be more free spirited. And I'm also hearing reversing the spell or the curse, guys. And then right after that, I was hearing sleeping beauty. And so basically you woke this person up. It's like you woke them up. Like you, I'm hearing you knocked on their door and you woke them up. Like you're like, hello, is anybody in there? <laughs> and you finally woke them up. I feel like because they've been asleep for so long, you know, it was a spiritual awakening. That's what this person went through. Someone who never thought there was much more outside of what they could see in front of them. And now it's like, I'm hearing the song from Aladdin, a whole new world. That's how they feel with you. All right. And then I'm also hearing nurturing, but powerful. This is the energy that you're giving off or that this person sees you in. I'm also hearing opening up their hard shell, like I said, and I'm hearing I never felt a love like yours before. Compassion, understanding, devotion. I'm hearing depth of emotion, mystical embodiment. I'm also hearing I'm hearing bright way of looking at the world, kind of like a ray of sunshine or something. I feel like you have like a, you know, when they say like glass half full kind of uh, attitude more so than glass half empty. And I also heard mysterious and beautiful once again with this card. And then with the Muse card that we were just clarifying with those cards up there, I'm also hearing something about showering you with gifts. So again, there could be something going on with some sort of party with gifts involved. Remember we talked about something wrapped in like pink wrapping paper or pink bow. And there's again, pink flowers here. Something with flowers could be significant as well. Like something about a garden or again, someone giving you flowers could be significant. I also get with this something about like, you know, confetti or something like that, like being thrown up in the air. I don't know why that's what I was getting. And then I also am hearing the song Paralyzed, like, I seem to be struck by you, you wanna make me, wait, gotta make you move, but you're standing still, your body matches what your eyes can do, they'll probably move right through, I'm on my way to you. Yeah, I feel like you're causing someone to, again, move, to make think, make changes in their life, like you're causing someone to do something they've never done before when they were maybe a little bit paralyzed before, but also they're a little bit struck by you too. Like, like once again, like there's something about you that just hit this person in the face. Like, I don't know why I said it like that. Maybe that's a message, <laughs> but yeah, there's something that causes this person to feel something they never felt. And I'm also hearing Aphrodite with this card. I'm hearing something about chamomile tea. I'm also hearing once again, inspiration. I'm hearing val I value your time and aspirations. Something about an instrument. I heard, you're the muse for someone's music or artwork, something about, again, sculpture or pottery even. I also heard DJ as well. Something also very random, I'm just getting something about needles, sewing needles, crocheting. I just kind of came through there. Okay, and then I also get, um, when I first looked at this card, I don't know why, this is kind of like a weird card. I was seeing her as like, I thought she was just like, it was just half her body and she was just like inside this sort of like crystal ball thing but I didn't see like the rest of her is down here. Like she's just standing behind something. And then that's like the moon or something in the sky behind her. So again, it kind of looks like a bubble. I don't know what's with bubbles, but that's what I keep saying. Anyway, so that's what I thought originally, which made me think of like, um, like a fortune teller or someone that predicts the future, you know, like a prophet is what I'm getting again, or someone who does like, again, like tarot readings or is very spiritual or like, 
yeah has like a connection with the divine like something like that is what i get with that because that's what i saw it as originally also for some of you i don't know why i was just getting something about a snow globe as well like you know when you shake up a globe and all the little stuff moves around that's what i saw too but i really see that like as in someone's like looking into the future or has visions of the future of like what they see their life coming into and i feel like this is what someone's seeing okay and then also with this card I was getting, I was hearing hourglass. So it has something to do with timing as well. Time is running out for something is what I keep getting. And I also was getting something to do with bath water and rose petals. That could be important for someone. Maybe this is a future thing. I'm seeing rose petals in water. I'm also hearing something about a bird bath. We talked about this in other reads. I think someone could like birds or like nature. Even someone here could like bird watching by the way, guys. Or they just, there's just something going on with a garden again. I'm also getting someone's hair is blowing in the wind. Like it looks like that kind of up here. I know she's underwater, but I keep getting that message of being up high somewhere. Like when you guys reunite and it's very windy or something that day. And then also if you look at her hair in this card, by the way, obviously you could have one hair or something, but I do see right behind her hair, it's like gold and it's sparkly. And so first thing I thought of once again was like gold rings, jewelry, something very sparkly and shiny. That could be significant there. And then also I'm just getting like with this card, I was hearing air energy because again, like I keep seeing the wind. So you could be an air sign. There could be something going on with air energy. I'm very intelligent as well. I'm hearing a master of your craft. That's what I just heard. Um, and then also I get like, I was hearing beautiful. Someone looks at you as some sort of like goddess or angel. I'm not gonna lie guys, like that's just coming out. That's how someone feels about you. And I even feel like they, you know how we keep having Disney stuff come out? Like I see them looking at you like a Disney princess. Like there's something about you that has that quality. I don't know, I that's just what I get. Like you're just very kind maybe, very gentle, very understanding, very emotional. Like I don't know, like in the best ways. And there's some sort of like magical maybe quality about you as well. And then also I get in this card, it kind of is like the same thing, like something about a halo around her head. Um, I see, it's just like this energy this person sees you in. And I was hearing, of course, the halo song once again, which already came through before. Um, but in that song, it says, hit me like a ray of sun burning through my darkest nights. You're the only one that I want. I'm addicted to your light also says it's like i've been awakened every rule you had me breaking it's the risk that i'm taking like this message is so clear someone is taking a risk because then they feel like they've been awakened by you like you are this person's muse you're their inspiration they're you're the reason someone changed their life is what i'm getting like someone changed a lot about themselves maybe to even be with you like because maybe they weren't at the level to be with you before maybe there was something they had to work on and i feel like they worked on it because of you but not only that i feel like they took it even further like i feel like i don't know like someone just kept going like they didn't it, they just kept going with this energy of like yeah i'm gonna change everything about me <laughs> and like i'm really gonna go after my dreams and it's all because of you like i feel like they want to thank you for something about this something to do with this and then in that song it also says i ain't never gonna shut you out um, everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can feel your halo. Pray it won't fade away. Yeah, someone wants to keep experiencing this energy. They don't want you to go away. And I feel like that's why someone like wants to lock it down, guys. Like I feel like someone wants to propose. Someone wants to do something drastic because they don't want to lose you is what I'm hearing. Like they want to make sure like that they come in and they come in and do things right is also what I'm hearing. Also, just very randomly, I'm getting a message about digging coming through, like something about digging in sand or uh, uncovering something I'm hearing. I keep getting that message. Um, I also am hearing armoire or um, amour, like love in French as well. That could be a message for someone. I'm also hearing something about soft lighting too with this card, and I've heard that numerous times now. Um, also something about the color purple or purple hues in the sky like you guys could be together around sunset or something I also see like once again you could be near water or mountains a mountainous area in the future that could be important to some kind of reunion or something here and then also these poles here they look like marble stone and that's been coming through for me lately something about granite countertops or marble and i was hearing um marble stone slabs so maybe someone is renovating a place even a kitchen i'm getting or like the floor somewhere and they're putting in marble is also what i see and then also i'm hearing january 5th randomly i was hearing this song that keeps coming through it came through last night too i haven't posted about it yet but i keep hearing this 
and the song is Can't Hold Us. Uh, I forget who sings that, but you guys will probably know. But in that song, it says, this is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over, like the city can't hold us. And it says, return of the Mac. But my phone autocorrected it to return of the back. So someone is coming back. I am getting that over and over. Someone is returning somewhere. I keep hearing something about a circle, like a cycle. Someone is returning. I'm hearing back to the beginning, like going back to the beginning of when it all started is what I keep hearing. Like I heard this as like a really almost like philosophical channel message about something about like to create the new future. You have to go back to the beginning. I don't know what this is about, but I keep hearing that. And then also in that song, it says, hey, hey, good to see you. It says something about being humble and cautious. It says, come on, dude, let's go. And then everyone's like, all right, okay. It makes me think of too, like someone performing on stage as well, which I'm getting something about a spotlight. But it says in that song, something about thrift shopping, walking, strutting your stuff, uh, being a little bit cautious somewhere like Rocky or Cosby sweater game y'all can't copy remember i keep talking about someone giving your sweater because it's cold out when you guys meet up something about moonwalking as well it says this here is our party my posy oh, it's been on broadway i told you guys someone could be an inspiring actor someone could be into acting i don't know what's with broadway but stuff like that's been coming through it says grown music shed my skin and put put my bones into everything i record to it and yet i'm on like let that stage light go down shine on down Get that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft, stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put it on for my talent. Trust me, my I end basically independent is what it says right after that. So I, I do get someone could be a performer here, guys. I keep seeing someone like screaming on stage or like audience, like cheering. I keep seeing that. I keep seeing a spotlight being put on a divine feminine as well. Or someone here is going to be in the spotlight. I don't know how many times I can say that, but that's what I'm seeing. They could be an artist, recording artist I'm hearing right now. Something about recording in a studio or even making a music video I'm seeing. I keep seeing someone like have an oscillating fan for some reason. Like maybe they're using it to make it look like wind blowing in like a video or something. Or maybe this is you guys in the future. Like you make something together, like a song together even. I don't know guys, but I just keep getting like spotlight. Something amazing is coming up. Also talks about chasing your dreams in that song. But it's just the whole song is all about like nothing can hold you back anymore like this is your time to shine is what i'm hearing this is your time to reach your goals and also talks about being grateful in that song talks about putting your hands up like i've been talking about you know hands up on stage like cheering i don't know it says tonight is the night we'll fight till it's over so we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us all right and then also too with this card i keep getting something about being seen on tv or devices as well like because see how she's kind of like again in the circle like in the spotlight like i said i keep seeing someone on tv or they're going to be on like you're watching someone on your phone i also get something about a profile picture as well someone could be looking at your social media accounts right now like looking through your photos is what i keep getting um so if you have any accounts like online like i do see someone looking at them and then also i'm hearing going going viral so if you do have like an online social media presence like maybe you start going viral with it as well I'm hearing continuous flow of ideas and inspiration comes flooding in. Yeah, so I feel like this person like didn't have a whole lot of idea of what they maybe wanted to even do fully with their life before they met you. But then after meeting you, it was like it switched, it flipped a switch in them. And then all of a sudden it was like, now I know, like now I have inspiration to do something. Like, I don't know, you caused a chain reaction I'm hearing in this person. Also flipping the switch makes me think of once again, like it's a prize party. I just was seeing that like, you know, the lights are all off and then everyone's hiding and all of a sudden it's like, surprise, and everyone jumps up. That would make sense with all the hands in the air too. I don't know, guys, but this is what I'm getting. And then also, I'm hearing trade secrets. Beloved, we are gathered here today. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hearing... Hey guys, so this is just future Sam jumping in here. I just want to say that I'm going to end this video early just because uh, I'm going to make this into two parts, which is very long. I really appreciate you guys and your support. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far and we will get into a part two very soon. Uh, I really like this message, so I hope you guys come back for the part two. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the part two shortly. Thank you again and goodbye.